<laughs> so, light matter. What I know about this game is that light matters. God, that that was awful. Anyway, as you can see, um, light and darkness are basically a core mechanic in the game. Darkness kills you. Light is good. And it's a puzzle game, so uh, let's see. Sorry, just needed to do a thing real quick. Is that an homage to um, the good old DVD screensaver? Can I open this? Oh. Oh. That doesn't look good. Can I pick this up? No. Too much dishonored. We can pick up anything, basically. No. Similarly invincible to fall damage. Oh, okay. Stuff you can actually use is highlighted. Um, pretty obviously. Final tram. That doesn't sound good. Let me guess, that was the final tram. Usually, you know, it's free food, but doesn't look very healthy. Can I? No, I cannot wear this. Let me have a look at the controls again. Oh, both mouse buttons are also used. Interesting. So you can literally just move, use and jump. Okay. And all of those who have doubted him doesn't sound like a supervillain at all. All of those who have doubted him. <laughs> Full of bad jokes tonight. Not today. It's barely even six. Doink. Hmm. I thought that was something I could actually use, but apparently not. Let me out! Let me out! Unbelievable. There's more of you. What? Uh, were you a part of the public tour? If so... Oh, hi. Just evacuated your tour guide. Don't panic. Now, your inability to follow evacuation orders is truly astounding. <laughs> but I need you to... I like this guy. First off, walk through that door. Doesn't work. I wonder... Will you respond to me being unable to follow simple evacuation instructions like walk through that door no apparently not 
Excellent. You have already exceeded my expectations. Wait, it's dark in there. Um, you might trip. Let me light your path. The door requires two people to reopen. Proceed to my security manager's office. I kind of feel that um, you might trip is not exactly the reason I wasn't supposed to go into the dark. Now I presume you know how buttons work. On the other hand, I'm not sure why he even cares if I die. Impressive. If you continue like this, I might just hire you to mop the floor. Now scurry along and you will reach the elevator to the exit. It's simple. I know it's difficult not to stare at the scientific wonder that is light matter, but the launch event is over. Don't worry, my facility is sturdy. Yeah. Get to the elevator. Everything is just fine, right? Excellent. The elevator will take you down. Elevator crashes. When you get there, journalists will immediately try to put words in your mouth. But stand strong. And tell them that Virgil, the CEO of Light Matter Technologies, saved your life and that the side effects are under control. Goodbye. Mm, somehow I don't believe the letter. The fuck is that? Light Matter, I guess. Um. Yep, called it. So this flowing effect seems to be an um, attribute of the darkness itself, right? Because when it was illuminated, it wasn't flowing. Can you hear me? It's even off. Shadows are dangerous. Stay away from the shadow. So this is this light matter thing. You would think that the um, mining of that would be a little bit more industrialized. So I was about to say, let's see what happens if I walk into the darkness in that corner there. Okay, that happens. And then darkness appeared everywhere. So um, okay. Whoa. That was close. Excellent. It's working. So, simple is no longer an option. Neither for you, nor for me. This was a monumental failure on behalf of my elevator technicians. But don't worry. You will reach the exit of this facility, and they will reach the end of their employment. An escape plan is in development. Until then, keep in mind that the shadows can kill you. Think the floor is lava. Just with shadows <laughs> that absorb organic material. Uh, I like the guy. I really do. Okay, it's getting more complex. Right, Here's the plan. The elevator dropped you to the center of the mountain. 
and the only functioning exit is at the top. Follow the green exit signs and you'll get there. Just Eventually. Exactly as I Maybe. Said, you will be fine. If you want to complain about that, well, I can't hear you. Just realize how fortunate you are. You've extended your tour through light matter technologies. Hmm. Oh. Well. Uh, that was easy. Also a little weird. Is that um loading new level? I think there was a slight stutter and I think that was the loading of the next part. Ah, excellent. Do you see that lamp down there? Pick it up. And then handy, isn't it? Focus groups called it heavy and clunky. I call them weak and stupid. In the hands of a capable miner, that lamp turns into one of their finest tools. I love that guy. He's just the right combination of asshole and snarky. Do 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 Listen, I know that the shadows might look intimidating to you. A deep black obsidian like tar that will devour you whole. But they're just simple gravity bound anomalies. I almost made the same mistake again. You see, all of mankind's greatest breakthroughs had their kinks, and these kinks are manageable. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here in the facility fixing them. Let me check something real quick. What's this? Oh. Interesting. You just have a stone. Well, I guess I need to illuminate this, right? Whoa. Almost stepped into the last little bit of shadow there. You know, is there a trick to doing this? I'm assuming not yet, but I'll need it later. <laughs> Boink. You know that I was the first to wander through these caves? Although I came here with my former partner, Arthur, I was the one who discovered the photon crystals. I wonder why he's your former partner. The side effects of those same crystals cost me my leg. Wrong. I conquered a mountain for the first photon crystal. Sheer persistence and willpower cost me my leg. Small price to pay for light matter. Yeah. That little bit of shadow instantly killed me. Oh, so now I need to get the other light. Well, that's earlier than I thought it would happen. Oop. So, it's not shown here, but control also is used because I have a microphone mute macro on, or macro is wrong, hotkey, I guess, on control M. And when I press that, I put down the light. That's quite annoying. Hmm. 
there it is. Now, since you missed your tour, that giant beam of light you see is light matter. The source of that beam. I thought this is the light matter. A collection of massive photon crystals. It is so powerful that it shakes the very foundation of this facility. I still remember my first successful prototype. The beam seemed so solid, it looked like light had become matter. I built on that, and now look at it. A sustainable and renewable energy source that will save humanity. I might not get the renewable part, actually. Failed, but these shadows will not deter me from bringing light matter into fruition. So, if you need this, these crystals, how is it renewable? I would like to have that explained to me at some point. Now that I think about it, where were you during the launch event? All guests were taken directly to the trap. So you must have snuck away somehow. Hmm. What exactly were you doing? Wait. Are you a health and safety inspector? <laughs> the irony that you didn't notice the blaring sounds and flashing lights. That's a problem with safety procedures. They can never be idiot proof. Well, fuck you too, asshole. Huh. Oh, that's what this bit down here is for. God, this is this requires quite a lot of micromanagement. This uh, method of puzzle solving. Whoa! I almost fell into that hole. Interesting, that shadow doesn't kill me. I'll take it. So now I need to do the entire thing backwards again. Great. It's interesting how I don't have a shadow, Inspector, right? I regret that during the launch event, bankers, investors and government officials died. But there are things one cannot predict. The shadows. So, health and safety inspector, let me Grab. do your job for you. I should have you waited for the speak to finish, I guess. Back and forth? It's a top grade mineral decontaminator. I installed it as soon as I heard that my employees were losing their hair. Once installed, cellular degradation fell by 37%. Isn't that great? Sounds um, just lovely. And I guess I need to go that way. For your information, saving humanity puts a lot of stress on my workers. As do my 12-hour work days. Point is, there are many reasons for hair loss. My name is Cave Johnson, or something like that. Oh no. Oh no. Let's just leave. Excellent. Our time together is almost at an end. Is it? There's a bridge right around the corner. Cross it and you will be on a direct path to Sunshine. And my security manager, James. Oh yes, he was evacuated as well. <laughs> I wouldn't dare risk his health and safety.
my lamps. At Light Matter Technologies, we treat our inanimate objects with respect, not like those monsters of aperture science. <gasps> uh. Oh, I can't jump with that, right? No, I can't. Also, that's the only thing illuminating this area. Oh, well, that's if you're wondering why I built a kind of inside a mountain, resilience. It was here before me, and it will be here after me. Just look around you, Inspector. We had an unprecedented event, and this living, breathing monument to science still stands. Hmm. So I feel like I need to be able to bring this over. Before meeting James, don't be too intimidated by his physique. He is the human equivalent of this mountain. Well-built, dependable and resilient. I guess that should work, right? Yes. Good. Um. Oh, and actually need to use this one. Am I an idiot? Did I really put that not? on the platform. Apparently so. Apparently so. such a nice man. Ah, oh, the bridge collapsed. That's why I don't trust you inspectors. I built it up to code to what was legally required of me, yet what good did it do? Let me figure out your options. Turns on light over there, I guess. The new door will be open soon enough. A moment, inspector. Yes, James. This is Virgil. I need... James, calm down, James. <laughs> Just... Calm down, James. We will find your cat later. Now focus. I need details for a new evacuation route. The, the cat probably uh, kicked over the reactor. Must have pushed the button too hard. Yes. Uh-huh. I thought so. Plan out the rest of the route. Do it faster than last time. I can actually... Hi, James. Dial the volume up a little. The door is open. Run along now. That's better, right? Yeah, I think that's better.
I don't like this. All right, Inspector. Your failure to push a button has resulted in a... What the... What's this? Okay. Change of plans. You will be taking a detour to another elevator. Now, show some an elevating experience. The amount of effort I put into keeping you alive. Keep an eye out for James's cat, Lux. James wants to know that he's safe. You see, James can't function properly when he's sad. Uh, no jumping, right? I'm smart. Or am I? Crap. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Well, thank you very much. I would hate my life if I were you. Now, you'll survive as long as you stick to the green exit signs. Good luck. This all looks um, perfectly safe. That was quite the sneeze. Yep. That most definitely went through shadow. Can't make that jump. I'm an idiot, I know what I have to do. Mm, this should be about right.
Turns out it not, it's uh, not right because I need both sides illuminated. That worked though. Stick to the exit signs. Oh, I can't stick to the exit sign. I was like, cool, I found a hidden path. Um, no. <laughs> what? My name is Ellen. Hello, Ellen. And things here are... Not Ellen. Okay. First off, I am really proud to be an engineer at Light Matter Technologies. But I don't know what the truth is anymore. People are getting sick left and right. Tape recorders have been banned. And now, until launch, all outside communication is prohibited. Not only that, leave permits are invalid. Virgil and Arthur, the pioneers of science. I can't believe they're doing this. They've been fighting each other for weeks, so I knew something was wrong. But I never thought they would lock down the facility like this. I guess whoever is listening to these tapes, if you're in the facility, please keep them hidden. Just until we can get them away from here. To someone who can help spread the truth when I find it. Assuming that kills me, right? No, it doesn't! Huh. And this? This kills me. So apparently... I, I'm assuming that being able to walk up here is a bug, right? I want that doesn't last very long. Hmm. Nothing else here I can use, right? No. Oh, come on. What? So I guess that's not how I'm supposed to be doing this. This won't work. I am an idiot. Ha 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 That was a very obvious solution. Like, is there any way I can get this light? No, no way. Oh, wait. Yes, way.
Actually, there was a very simple way to get that light. Just press the button again. Hey, Ellen. I was sleeping in the lab when suddenly I felt something on my head. I opened my eyes and Arthur is standing over me in the dark, holding a vial. Before I could do or say anything, he just said, it's for the better. What? How exactly is pouring liquids into my hair for the better? What the fuck? I wish I'd said that. But there he was, Arthur, the CTO of Light Matter Technologies, the man I spent years working. Can I get the recordings? No. Oh, speedrun stats. Wow. With the man I am helping to save the world. I could barely recognize him. I wish there was a way to um, replay those recordings and stuff, if I managed to somehow balls it up. They all look the same, right? Yes. Almost didn't make that jump. I guess that's the general idea here. Oh, I can't jump with that. Um... So no, the general idea is to do this. Probably going to kill me, right? But let's double check. Yes, it is. Oh, come on, really? Um, this way? Yes. I was slightly confused as to where I had to go. Oh, also I just realized something. Um, I think... And just for good measure, because I have no idea if I need this. So yeah, that works. Oh look, I need this. I can't stop Arthur. Nobody believes a man of that status would poison people like that. And apparently, losing my hair at the age of 31 isn't proof enough. I need to take more drastic measures.
Oh, wait. Arthur's the other guy, right? The guy we met is... What's his name? Victor? Vince? Something uh, with a V. And he got rid of Arthur after... Um, well, arguing with him for weeks, right? So apparently Arthur was trying to sabotage the project. I guess? So I'm assuming we're going to hear about his reasons at some point. Which are probably connected to this entire mess here. How did you get all the way over there? I walked. Impressive. You realized how much oh. of a waste of time you are. Oh, well, that's interesting. Shortcut. You're much closer to the elevator. So well done, Inspector. Now, you're not supposed to be in that part of the facility. But never mind. You will be taking what you see here to your grave. Don't worry, it's just a standard non-disclosure agreement. Yeah, yeah, sure. Non-disclosure agreement. No, you're going to die here or anything. Um, so that is kind of an issue. Oh, I am an idiot. So this powers that now. Hmm. Hmm. You must have gone through the ventilation chambers. Wait, did you wear a breathing mask? Um, uh, maybe? Articles. Expected, since they are the lungs uh -huh. of light matter technologies. But instead of focusing on the years of life you've just lost, let's focus on the happy fact that your shortcut saved us uh, a couple of hours. A couple of hours. I'm kind of worried about this. Inspector, hmm. I admire competence, and you've shown some. So let me tell you a bit about my technology. The panels that you've lit up to power machinery, those are the photon power cells. You see, my former partner, Arthur, designed this part of the facility. And when he did, he used primitive copper for wiring. Once I increased the voltage, it melted. So I bypassed that idiocy by retrofitting doors, lifts, etc. with photon power cells. Those power cells function as both energy converters and switches. Clever, but you'll realize their true purpose once light matter makes its way into the world. I admire competence and you show... some. I'm going to use that insult at some point in my life. Oh, that's probably the same thing, right? Yeah. Oh. You know, when Arthur's wiring overloaded, I was fortunate enough to get stuck in an elevator with my engineers. But I make the most out of bad situations, so we had an hour-long conversation, much like this one. I talked and they listened.
about you? Managing those lamps. I know that being in charge can feel incredible, but this is sad. And this constant shuffling. Whatever it worked. Inspector, let me enlighten you. To invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Conventional solar cells were a pile of junk until I got my hands on them. I improved upon them using photon crystals and created photoelectric cells that were actually efficient. Of course, when I succeeded, a cabal of my competitors, journalists, and windmill enthusiasts formed to try to undermine my achievements. Why did I expect any different? Competing with me is like an ant competing with a boot. Overwhelming. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, I guess I can't get the light over here. Uh, that's my working theory, at least for now. Also, I'm a moron. I could have, you know, at least paid attention to what was here. But I didn't. How the fuck am I going to do this? Oh. That was way easier than I thought was um, thinking way too complicated. I think I can jump that. <laughs> Allow me to clear away any doubts you might have about my photon power cells. For my initial test, I took an elevator to the top of the mountain on a sunny day. I had a coffee machine in each hand. One powered by a solar cell, the other powered by my photon cell. Within one minute, I was drinking delicious black photon cell powered coffee. It tasted like victory. I'm missing something entirely obvious again, am I? The issue is that I can't at the same time do this and power this. Oh god, oh, I have to redo everything. You seem intoxicated by opening and closing that door. 
Is this the first time you've held real power in your hands, Inspector? There's no way I can grab that. Also can't get over here. Nope. <laughs> Was worth a try. Or was it? Boys, I got it. Wait. Oh. Or oh, did I get it? Yes, I got it. Now I can do this. I can pick this up. I just need to make sure I'm shining it at the button there. See? Wah! Now I don't care if that door closes. Ah, <sighs> feels good, man. Impressive. You're the smartest inspector I've ever met. A low bar, sure, but a bar nonetheless. Hold on. But a bar nonetheless. What an interesting phone call. My security manager, James, just got a hold of our government contacts. They told him that we were not scheduled for an inspection today. And since you are not on the guest list, James doesn't know who you are. But I do. It's obvious. You're a journalist. It fits. Your kind always go to such extremes for your stories. I would like to remind you that freedom of the press does not extend to trespassing. We'll have a talk once you get out. Oh. I will need that because I need a light over here, right? Yes, okay. So how, how get light? How get light? Oh, I know. It's actually quite simple. And I was uh, thinking way too complicated again. You see, 
journalist. I've had my fair share of experience with your kind. Always trying to make me show a sign of weakness. So let this be a reminder. I have none. I have none. Oh, come on, really? Why you make me do this? That's an issue. Do I just do this? No, that can't work. Can it? kill me doing that. Tell me, what sort of publication do you work for, journalist? Science? <laughs> I doubt that. You have solved problems, but wandering through a room is not science. What is it with me not seeing the easy solutions? Since you're a journalist, you must be here to investigate the merits of Arthur's accusations. Yes, I read the papers. I like to keep myself misinformed. I love this guy. He uses. Yes, light matter caused hair loss and other minor side effects. But I solved all of that with the mineral decontaminators. And what did Arthur do? He poisoned our employees. Exaggerating those side effects in his crusade to destroy me. Yep, that guy sounds like a perfectly sane man. All consuming. It consumed our partnership, it consumed our friendship, and it almost destroyed this entire facility. Did uh, that just get on my hair? Oh, that's it? I can't be it. Let's wait to sim.
No, that is definitely not it. Journalist, Arthur's poison project severely damaged morale. My employees weren't just losing their hair, they were losing their identity. So besides installing the decontaminators, I ordered a container full of wigs. It was a success. Everyone started using them, except me. I don't try to cover up facts. Totally don't. Totally don't try to cover up facts. <clears throat> like murdering your colleague and stuff just to keep a secret. Oh, there's no button in here. Huh. Do you know how I lost my leg? Before the facility, Arthur and I were climbing this mountain as it started shifting around us. The quakes mangled my leg oh. beyond recognition, and that coward left me there to die. But I went deeper into the mountain and came back with a photon crystal. Ooh, you're too complicated again. To your article. I don't need this entire contraption, I just need to go over here. And then I'm done. Right? Right. So, journalist, you will soon be out of here. But before you write a hit piece about the quote-unquote deadly shadows of light matter, let's get the facts straight. The shadow are. anomalies are not spreading beyond the facility. They Yet. are local to the core. Also, we have had countless test runs on the core before today, and there have never been any signs of shadow anomalies. There is a simple explanation for that. You see, my engineers desperately strive to impress me. So during the launch event, one of them turned up the core's energy output. Understand, for every 100 megawatts I spend powering the core, I normally receive 107 megawatts. And today, that number increased to 111 megawatts. But I take full responsibility for my engineer's wrongdoing. I'm finding a solution, and he's finding a new career. Actually, he's probably dead. I'm finding a new solution, and he's finding a new career. Actually, he's probably dead. Man, I like that guy. Yoink. Yoink. Yoink.
Not sure if that was the intended solution, but... But it works. There we are. The entrance to research and development. I know that you're eager to explore more of light matter technologies, but you overstayed your welcome long ago. If it's any consolation, I'll let you write an exclusive about me. How does that sound? Just remember that non-disclosure agreement we discussed. Also, you are trespassing, and I have a legion of lawyers. Pretty sure that at the end of this you won't have any lawyers left. Or a company. Oh, come on! So, journalist, our time together is sadly at an end. The elevator is just upstairs. Listen, I know that I mentioned lawyers earlier. It's just that a man like me needs to be careful. I understand the need for journalists. People in power need to be held accountable. I'm no exception. I just hope you're fair when you write about me. Oh. I guess I could have expected that. Right. Journalist, here's something hmm. for your exclusive. As you can probably imagine, I was a smart child. I built a calculator when I was seven and made it solar-powered when I was eight. But the most I could ever get from my father was a half-hearted grunt of acknowledgement. Some would call that neglect. I call that motivation. These platforms, they move fast, don't they? I have James race them. It forces my security manager to be in top physical condition. You see, I nurture the talents of my employees.
I'm reasonably sure I'm doing the right thing. That made it a billion times easier. Also literally possible because it wasn't before. Listen, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but without me, you would be lost forever. So here's an idea for your front page. Leader shows me the light in a moment of darkness. Write it down. How about no? So that move might kill me if I don't do this first. Oh, I can't do this first. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm going to hope that move does not kill me. Oh wait. What did I just do? Apart from something stupid. Oh, come on! Don't make me do the entire thing again. So mean. Also kind of funny how I'm pulling up on this. Wait, why can't I jump? Um... Weird. So that was obviously not quite right. I think that's more writer. Yeah. Because now I can bring both over here. Not sure if I even need both, but um, you know.
I can't bring both with me because I need to illuminate this part. Okay. That's fair. I wonder what I'm going to be next after the journalist. And tell him that I won. <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs> asshole. Delightful asshole, but asshole. Oh, I guess I do this. Well, that's that's not going to work, is it? Getting portal vibes here. Which is a good thing, right? Look into Arthur's office, and it's worse than I thought. Arthur is trying to sabotage light matter. It's not just poisonings. I found the schematics for his experiment on the core. He's not trying to improve it, he's trying to over. Virgil. That's its name. Arthur is after me. Whoever finds this, if it's not too late, tell Virgil that Arthur needs to be stopped. I'm not sure that Arthur's actually the bad guy here. If I'm perfectly honest. Sometimes I just can't jump anymore until I tap out and back in. That is... Interesting. Oh, I'm quite literally heading back the way I came. Interesting. All right now, pay close attention. It seems that when it comes to you, nothing can ever be simple. That elevator was your quickest way out. But... I have an idea, and it involves making this partnership mutually beneficial. You are going to be my assistant. Cool. Trying to contain yourself. You will be Looking forward to that. ...through our research and development department. Before I allow you in, I would like to make something abundantly clear. Be careful with what you touch, and no photographs. I'll tell you more about the plan as I work out the details. Do not make me regret this, and remember to do exactly as I say. <laughs> 